my dear children welcome back to your max class i hope you all are doing well and safe at your home today we are going to continue this chapter of fractions with an important topic back and forth let's start our class here is an example for you a small jar can hold 2 liters of water and a large jar 6 liters so the large jar can hold 3 times as much as the small one that is 3 times 2 liters is equal to 3 multiplied by 2 that is equal to 6 liters saying it in reverse the small jar can hold 1 by 3 as much as the large one that is 1 by 3 of 6 is equal to 1 by 3 multiplied by 6 that is equal to 6 by 3 that is equal to 2 liters it can be represented through this diagram as 3 times 2 is equal to 6 and 1 by 3 of 6 is equal to 2 3 may be written in fraction as 3 by 1 on turning the fraction upside down we got 1 by 3 This one by three is called as the reciprocal of three. Now, what is the reciprocal? On interchanging the numerator and denominator of a fraction, we get its reciprocal. For example, five. Five when written in fraction is equal to five by one. On interchanging its numerator and denominator, we will get the reciprocal as one by five. Next, two by five. The reciprocal of two by five is equal to five by two. Next number is three and one by two. This is a mixer fraction. For finding the reciprocal of three and one by two, we have to first of all convert three and one by two into improper fraction. That is, three and one by two is equal to three into two plus one by two. That is equal to seven by two. Then the reciprocal of seven by two is equal to two by seven. Is it clear for you? Next activity number one. The length of one string is four meters, and the length of another string is fourteen meters. We have to find what fraction of longer string is the shorter string. Here we have to write the fraction of shorter string with respect to the length of the longer string. Therefore. The length of shorter string is four by forty of the length of longer string. We can find the lowest form of four by forty by dividing the numerator and denominator by two. That is four divided by two by fourteen divided by two. That is equal to two by seven of the longer string. That is two by seven multiplied by forty. That is equal to Two into fourteen by seven. That is equal to twenty-eight by seven. That is equal to four. Next question: How much times of the shorter string is the longer string? Here we have to find the length of the longer string with respect to the length of the shorter string. Then the length of longer string is fourteen by four times the length of the shorter string. Fourteen by four. When written in lowest form is equal to fourteen divided by two by four divided by two, that is equal to seven by two. That means it is seven by two times the shorter string. That is seven by two multiplied by four, that is equal to seven into four by two, that is equal to twenty-eight by two. That is equal to forty. Next activity number two: A pumpkin is cut into three equal pieces. Two pieces together weigh one kilogram. What is the weight of the whole pumpkin? Here, the weight of two pieces is equal to one kilogram. Therefore, the weight of one piece is equal to half kilogram, or one by two kilogram. Then. 
the weight of three pieces is equal to three multiplied by one by two. That is equal to three by two. On dividing three by two, we shall write the number in mixer fraction as one and one by two. Therefore, the weight of three pieces is equal to one and one by two kilograms. Is it clear for you? Here is a homework activity for you. Do it well. That's all for today, children. We shall continue our class on the next day. Okay. Thank you.